What's going on? All right, man, you guys got another cooking uh, vlog today. So today I want to do beef and broccoli. I've been wanting to do that, but um, I'm not a real good chef with like a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this. So I'm going to go in here and look for a packet with all the powders and seasonings all in one. Then I'm going to get the broccoli and I'm going to get the steak, man. And I got the rice at home. So we're going to cook this all up. But um, we're at Vaughn's. Last time we went to Trader Joe's trying something different. We got, go to Stater Brothers, Sprouts. Um, what is it? Yeah, uh, Trader Joe's. Now we're at Vaughn's, man. We're going to see what they have. So that's the goal. Look for some uh, beef and broccoli seasoning, and if they got it, I'm gonna get the meat and I'm gonna get the broccoli, man. So, let's go. You guys know since I'm eating healthy, you gotta have the fruit. I like the fruit now, you know. Get one of those. Get some pineapple too. Bomb. Gotta have the fruit. Oh, look, perfect. Perfect. They pretty much killed all my oranges from last time. Some of them weren't that good though. I don't know if these are good ones, I'll be honest. Yeah, these look a little more. Nah, these ones. They probably are good. Oh no, look at that one. Green? Yeah, no. Yeah, but you know what? At least these green ones, they're more fresh because the last one I got, they're like some old ones. Some of them were like, you could tell it's going to get moldy. Unless I see something better. Got to have them oranges stand efforting. Yeah, you see how? Oh, shit. Yeah, this is like the best one. Even though it's a little, some look a little fresh, it's still better than the other ones. All right. Damn, they got the organic jasmine rice here. But here, basically three bucks, 279. You go to Costco, which you have just a regular white rice, you're like almost a buck on So make sure you guys go to Costco to get your rice, man. It's expensive here. Yeah, we're looking for the seasoning. So we haven't found it yet. All right, I may have found it. May have found it, because look, I've tried this before. Where is it? For fried rice? I saw it somewhere. My eyes, my eyes tricked me. But look, we got the seasoning package, we got for the steak, the tacos, shrimp stuff, all kinds of stuff right here. So we're gonna see if we find like a beef and broccoli mix, Asian one. But yeah, I don't see the Asian section. It says I need garlic. We can't find the, uh, the powder. So, oh look, look at it. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. look it, God. Look it. Oh, <laughs> I got it. We get two of these. It came That's up. What you were looking for. It came up right here. That's all we needed. And I'm going to grab me soy sauce. Regular. Organic. I don't know which one's good, guys. This looks good. Organic right here. Organic soy sauce. That's it. That's it, man. That's all we need. Oh, no. We got to go get the beef. Got to go get the beef now. But that was going to have to piece all this out. You guys know I'm not in the grocery store looking down like 20 aisles to look for this shit. All right. So we found, finally, all we need is this right here. We needed the beef and broccoli seasoning and the soy sauce. Now because we found those, I was almost gonna give up and try to make something else or make it from scratch, but we found it. So now our goal is to get some good broccoli and some good beef. Let's get this. So on the thing I saw to get the flank steak, terrific for frying it says right here. Brown tip strips right here. This might be it right here. How much is it? How many pounds? One, one, one pound? Yeah, 1.32. Might get this one right here. But I'm gonna see if there's any other, you know. Oh yeah, I think this is right here. Look, top sirloin, thin sliced. Honestly, might get that one because it's just already, it's already sliced, up. yeah. But this 
This one's one pound exactly. We got this one over here too. Let's see. Damn, this one's heavier. This is 1.4. What is it, yup? Already seasoned and everything. Already seasoned, you never know. This shit could be pretty bomb. Might have to come and try that one day. Let's see. Or do I want to just get a New Yorker? Top sirloin. Half a pound right here. Might just get that and, and do it myself. That looks pretty good. Tri tip. New York. And New York is bomb. I might have to just give me a New York. I'm trying to look for something that's right at one pound. New York right here, boneless. Here, let's try this one. This is one pound, but it has all that fat on it. Ribeye. Who knows, a lot of good steak. I was just trying to get me one, but I guess I'm gonna have to get me two New Yorks together. Give me maybe two. All right, I found it, guys. Right here. 1.6 pounds. Once I trim off the fat, probably like one pound. New York strip right here. Bomb for my uh, beef and broccoli. These are bomb right here. These are keto friendly. Keto, keto. These are bomb right here though. Damn, look at how many. This, this thing has, it says 16 servings per container. 16. And then it's seven grams of fat per serving. So, I don't even know what that is. 70 times, or seven times 10 is 70 grams of fat, plus another half of that, 35. So it's like over 100 grams of fat in one of those things. Damn! Cali, we're in your favorite section, Cali Muscle, BFF. I know you like bananas. You know, rubbed off on me. I like them now too. Get these ones. This one already looks a little beat up, All right here. Here we go. Cali, shout out to Cali Muscle. All right, almost a pound of broccoli. Made it easy. Got the ones already chopped up, 12 ounces. If you guys know any type of math or any kind of weighing, you guys know 16 ounces is a pound. So put you up, put you guys up on game on that, man. 16 ounces a pound, man. All right, all right I got my stuff. I got my stuff. Actually, I should have got the receipt to see what it cost. Um, for my meal, but you guys could have picked cheaper cheaper steak. I got a New York steak, so I think that alone was like 16 bucks. But I got two, you know, good pieces. So, yeah, that was 16 bucks alone. The broccoli, I doubt was super cheap, a couple bucks. And I bet you that stir fry mix is like, I don't remember seeing it, but it's probably like two bucks. So I bet you I spent maybe 20 bucks on this meal, man. Well, it was pretty good. 20 bucks on this meal. About to have a nice good meal grub down. Um, and then obviously I bought some other stuff too. Some water, Gatorade and shit like that. Some fruit. So about to get it on, man. First thing, even though these are probably clean, I'm going to uh, rinse them. You know, you never know. It's a lot of broccoli right there, but though it'll get down in size. Make sure the broccoli is nice and clean before we eat it, man. Don't want to get sick. All right, we're gonna steam up the broccoli a little bit so it's not too crunchy or whatever. While I cut, it. I already did it that far. All right, next, I'm gonna cut up the meat. Um, cut it up, however fat, much fat you like on there. I'm just gonna cut the fat off of it. Um, let me know if you guys got uh, some better knives out there, man. Cause this knife ain't it. This knife ain't it, guys. 
But yeah, I'm gonna cut off the fat because I definitely don't want a lot of fat on my meat. And then just cut up the, the, the chunks, the size that you want for the meat, you know? So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave some pretty good chunks, but if you leave them too thick too, they're gonna take longer to cook, you know, and your meat might get a little more dry. So, if I were you, get some good chunks, but make sure they're thin enough where they're gonna be able to cook well. You know, so, that's it. But yeah, cut the fat off. Cut all that fat off and now I'm gonna slice the meat up, man. Slice it up. Good meat right there. Need a better knife though, I'll tell you that. The dull knife they say is how you get cut. I can feel it because I got I'm fighting this meat with this cheap knife. This is like a pound and a half of meat. We got a lot of fat right here that I got rid of, so probably only turn into like a pound. Pound of carne, pure fat. and lean especially if we're going you know for a good diet over here you know want to keep it lean lean as possible yeah nothing like some bomb steak I'll tell you that I love steak I love steak better than chicken chicken has less you know cholesterol and all that kind of stuff if any, right? But ain't nothing like some bomb ass steak, I'll tell you that. Ain't nothing like some bomb steak. There it is, cut up all my steak right here. Bomb, probably like a pound, maybe a little more steak. And uh, we're gonna check on the broccoli. Check on the broccoli. With all honesty, I think it's already looking good to go. That's as much as I want it right there. Cause we're still going to put it in, um, you know, for the stir fry. Let me get something to help this thing out. All right, we got the broccoli. Right here, looking good, looking ready to go. We'll rinse this out a little bit. Step one done, man. We got the broccoli grilled up a little bit. Got the broccoli grilled up. Next, we got the meat. Next, we got the easy part right here. We got the, um, the seasoning. Luckily, I didn't have to go get the garlic and all these other little seasoning things that you needed to make it, which I should have. Probably would have came out way better if I just did it all myself. Instead, we got this um, beef and broccoli mix. And uh, I'm sure it's still going to be pretty bomb. I'm sure it's still going to be bomb. Zero fat in it, so that's pretty good. 20 calories per container. It says there's four servings, so 80 calories in this thing. Not much, zero fat though. Um, so yeah, we're gonna use, since I'm using probably, let's say a little over a pound, this is for three fourths pounds, so I'm gonna use both of them. And then we're gonna add a cup of, a cup and a half of water, and then uh, four, tables, four tablespoons, or what is it called? Four teaspoons of soy sauce.
This is nine ounces, eight ounces in a cup, so we'll probably do like a cup and a half for this. Looks like a lot. Let me see this, cause all right, we got the water in there. Now we want four of these. One, two, three, four. All right, got that in there. Now we're gonna mix it up. We might need a little bit more water, honestly, because uh, we didn't put the amount that it required. But I don't want it to be too watery, you know? Alright, uh, you guys know I'm not a big oil fan. Honestly, if I'm cooking, I'd rather use butter. I use this uh, pure Irish butter because it only has literally, I think, uh, two ingredients that's it pasteurized cream and salt that's all that's in this butter right here two ingredients so we'll get a good little piece in there because we got the meat you know but yeah I like using butter much more than oil you know I learned from Stan that oil sticks to your fat a lot more you know so the goal is not to use oil if you can Especially if you're trying to cut, you know. So, tying up the meat, man. Butter, looking good. Looking bomb right here. bottom honestly I'm hungry I'm gonna add a little bit I just do my own little garlic you know we got the salt coming in so I'll add just my own little pepper maybe I'll add a little salt you know pink salt right here pink Himalayan whatever you call it healthy salt this meat man all that meat cooked evenly baby hope you guys been enjoying the last meal I've been getting uh, DMs and stuff like that and tagged in you guys making the last um, pasta meal man healthy pasta meal is bomb I hope you guys enjoyed it so I hope you guys try this beef and broccoli you guys can look at the store and find a packet like I bought or learn from scratch. I saw a couple uh, recipes on, um, on the internet that you can just uh, cook up. And then also too, man, if you guys want to buy my uh, program, we also have um, diet, you know, diet programs and different recipes as well there. So you guys could always get those recipes, but... For me, I've always liked beef and broccoli, super healthy meal, you know, um, so I decided to make it, man. And if you guys like these meals, me making these meals, make sure you guys comment down below, share it, you know, share the meals, and uh, continue to support, man, because the more views we get, the more we can keep making this type of content, guys. So we're going to keep growing this up. Looking good already, though, I'll tell you that. Meat's looking good, guys. Looking real good. Looking real good. Almost done too, because I don't like my meat too well done. I like it about medium, a little bit of pink in it. So, and we still gotta add the other ingredients and let it all cook together. So, it's almost ready for the um, for the next sauce, man. It's almost ready for that, because that's what's next. I'll be honest, I think I'm gonna add it right now because you gotta let that thing boil. So I think I'm gonna add it right now. 
to me, I feel like this is going to be a lot of, a lot of liquid up in here, but, you know, I might need to turn this thing up. I don't know. I think I'm going to not put it all in yet. I'm going to sit on it for a little bit because I don't know. Let's let it simmer up in there. Let's let it simmer up in there. Me and next. Let's see. Oh yeah, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. I see I was worried, but the directions, nah, it was right. I actually need some more hugo up in here. Alright, remember, don't question the directions. They know much more than we do. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more water, I'll be honest with you. There we go. Yeah, no, it, it definitely uh definitely did its did its work, man. It did its did its work. Don't question it. almost looking ready my my peeps damn this is looking bomb right here I can't lie it's looking bomb bomb little beef and broccoli right here healthy meal too sheesh this looks good to go guys oh I'm gonna warm up my rice and then I'm gonna go ahead and try this. Looking good, man. Keep it covered. Warm up my rice, like I said, Costco right here. Same thing. Barely buck, dollar for that thing, man. Made it in 30 seconds. Yeah, you have yourself some bomb ass rice. Got my rice, baby. Got my rice. Easy. All right, you guys know I got my paper plate. Got my rice right here. Now we're gonna add on some beef and broccoli, man. Let's hope it tastes as good as it looks. I hope so, guys. Let's hope so. There it is, man. There it is, guys. Sheesh. Alright guys, you know we have to you know I gotta put on the amante though too guys so you guys if you guys want the bombest hot sauce go to strengthcartel.com and get your amante. Um but yeah, moment of truth. I should have tried it uh the beef and broccoli without the amante first just to try the real flavor because this is gonna make it taste bomb no matter what. But um here we go. A little bit of beef, a little bit of broccoli. A little bit of rice, man. Pretty hot, but it looks fire, bro. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Fire, bro. I'll tell you this. The one thing I could have done is I could have cooked the beef a little less. Because when I let it sit and it's sitting in there right now, it's cooking. And it's like well done, which is still bomb. But I like my beef, you know, uh, medium. So that's one thing I really could have done instead of, uh, you know, I would have cooked the beef a little less before I put. I would have honestly put the beef in, seared it for a second, threw the, um, threw the sauce on it. And to be honest... I would have thrown in the broccoli after the sauce and it would have even better. But you know what? You live and you learn. First time making this right here and uh, it's still fire. But for sure, it takes less time than you think, guys, because it's so hot. It takes less time than you guys think. But yeah, man, super good, guys. Let me try it again. Mm. Mm hmm.
really good, guys. Really good. So um, I'm going to get to grubbing down, but I want to let you guys know that myself and the whole squad will be at the LA Fit Expo this Saturday, January 14th, this Saturday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., guys, and I can't wait to see you guys there. So we will be there, guys, this Saturday, January 14th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the LA Fit Expo at the Convention Center. So we can't wait to meet you guys, and uh, I hope you guys get to try this meal before we see you, and see you guys soon. I love you guys. Keep banging.